In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a plain opening like this and turn it into a lovely opening like this with these French doors. It's a very easy project that you can do yourself at home, and I'm going to make it real easy for you. This is Rudy from the Home Improvement Channel with another video showing you how to fix things around the house. I do want to give a shout out to my buddy Tawan, who is a photographer and a videographer who helped me film this video. We did this at his house, so it was very convenient for him to help me, and many thanks to Juan for helping me out. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so if you notice, I've got the door sitting on some shims right here, and I'm trying to move those shims up and down to make it even with the other door. So with the other door closed, I want that as close as possible, as you can see right here. And then once you get the door where you want it, just take a pencil and make some little marks right here where the hinges go. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be exactly laser perfect, but it does have to be close. So once you've done that, see the marks on the hinge right there? Go ahead and take a pencil and draw around it, and then take a chisel and cut out like this. You could take a router, but it's a little harder to control up in the air like that, so the chisel is easier to control. And then go ahead and eat out the middle of it like this with the chisel. Okay. Once you've done all three pockets, go ahead and install that half of the hinge in all three, and then try to see if the door will fit. And if you noticed, um, loosening the screws right there, the door was very close, but not quite perfect. So if you loosen one hinge, like the, probably the one that doesn't fit, put the pin in like I did there, and then fit your pins in the other hinges. All right, once you get all your hinges in or your pins in, go ahead and tighten that hinge back up, and then everything should work fine. So if you notice here, uh, you can close the door like this where they're both kind of pushing on each other, and that does work. But if you want to leave one door open like that and then leave the other door closed, you're going to have to cut the door. So just put one door on top of each other like that and mark it with a pencil and carry it outside, as you can see me doing there. Go ahead and rip that door. Try to keep this as straight as you can. Uh, sometimes, you know, you're going to be a little squiggly. You might even burn the wood a little bit, but don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to take care of that here in just a second. All right, so if you have a little bit of unevenness, you can take a sanding machine like this and kind of smooth it out with the sandpaper. <laughs> Just tell them, say, with your support on Patreon.com, I can hire a cameraman. All right, I found that the other door was not allowing it to close still, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side too. So I had to cut a little bit off of both sides, and there we have it, a nice closed door, and you can leave one open. Uh, so I'm pointing to the, um, the ball catch right there. Go ahead and cut the pocket out for that. Um, I started out on the top of the door right here, and then I kind of pushed it under so I could get a decent uh, mark right there. And then... Upside down, see? Oh, <laughs> not to let it move like Get it that. right. <laughs> Try not to let it move again. And you'll, if you notice, the when you flip that back over the way it's supposed to go, you'll have to cut out deeper in the middle. Uh, so that that will sit flush. And just like the uh, the hinge pockets, just cut them out too. Or cut the ball catches out just like I'm doing right here. Or just like you did with the hinge pockets. And that's all you got to do right there. Once you get it cut out, go ahead and yep. Ooh, sexy. screw it on down. Here's my buddy Tuan taking some slow-mo footage for you. Pretty cool, right? All right, so you're going to want to adjust that uh, ball out so that it will catch the ball catch uh, properly. And voila, both doors are closing good. 
Nice. Uh, so when you put the knobs on, I usually draw a line across there like that so that they're even on both sides. You don't have one up and one down. And what I'm doing right here is I'm installing the door stop so that the uh, doors won't push through when, when you shut the doors. So go ahead and uh, do that. And uh, we're having some trouble with the air gun. What? What's happening? I guess that's what happens when you use a porter cable. Again? Again! Go ahead and uh, caulk that on both sides. You'll see the other side, so go ahead and caulk both sides. And usually I'll go back after I do that and smooth it with my finger like I just did right there. And also the nail holes, I usually just caulk them and they're pretty good. All right, as you can see, we got it all done here. I got the caulking done. All that's left now is to paint. If you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.